Hi guys, it's Fabian from High Snobiety, and today I'll be walking you through three ways to tie dye your t shirt. We'll be doing three different methods crumple, shibori, and spiral. First, let's go through everything you'll need gloves to protect your hand, an apron or old clothes, a tarp or plastic cover, fabric dye, salt or soda ash, dye fixative plastic squeeze bottles, large Ziploc bags, a container and hot water, rubber bands, wooden dowel, and of course, your white t-shirt. To begin, make sure your t-shirts are clean. Wash them even if they're new. New shirts sometimes have a chemical that keeps the dye from taking properly. Prepare your dye. Instructions will vary. We used a powder that you mix into hot water, which we then transferred into our plastic squeeze bottles. You don't need to put your dye into squeeze bottles, but if you're going to dye a t-shirt in multiple colors, this is the most accurate way. If you're dyeing with just one color, you can dye the shirt in a container full of dye. You're ready to prep and dye your shirts. The first technique is called the crumple pattern. Start crumpling the fabric with your fingers. Keep scrunching the tee until everything is in a crumpled mound. Hold the shirt in place with rubber bands. The tighter you make it, the more patterns you'll get. Apply the dye using the squeeze bottles, and don't hold back. You can really soak the tea. Flip the shirt over and repeat on the other side. If you're using multiple colors, liberally apply the different dyes for a more vibrant, random final result. Once dyed, seal your t-shirt in a Ziploc bag to keep it damp as the dye sets, and let it sit for six to eight hours. Lay your t-shirt flat and set the dowel in the center where you want your spiral to be. Twist until the t-shirt is a spiral shape. Bind the tee tightly with three rubber bands, creating six wedge shapes. Apply your colors one by one to the wedge shapes. For the best results, Make opposing wedges the same color. Now flip the spiral fabric over and repeat on the back. Once dyed, seal the t-shirt in a Ziploc bag and let it sit for six to eight hours. It's perfectly all right. Roll your t-shirt tightly around a non-absorbent tube we used a paper roll, which honestly wasn't the best, but it worked. Secure both ends with rubber bands. Tightly scrunch both ends of the rolled t-shirt towards the center. You could also secure rubber bands along the entire tube. Apply dye to the fabric, rotating the tube as necessary. Once dyed, seal the t-shirt in a Ziploc bag and let it sit for six to eight hours. Final steps. Once you've let your t-shirt sit for a while, prepare the dye fixative by mixing it with warm water. You'll want the water to be between 100 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Soak the t-shirts in the fixative. The exact time they'll need to soak varies based on the type of fixative. So check the packaging. After soaking the t-shirts, rinse them in cold water. You can use some light detergent if you want. Finally, leave the shirts to air dry. One important thing, wash your tie-dyed shirt on its own the first time you put it in the machine to avoid the dye bleeding onto other clothes. And that was our quick and easy guide on how to tie-dye. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more curated style content by Heist Nobody.